Welcome to my video. I wanted to come up with some examples from Minecraft that helped explain the difference between independent and dependent variables. Because my son has been studying them in school, and I thought it would help to make it clearer what the difference is. So we're looking at three different experiments that we can conduct in Minecraft to help us identify the independent and dependent variable in each one. I've decided that I want to try an experiment in Minecraft. And this is designed to help show what's the difference between independent and dependent variable. Okay, so for my first experiment, I'm actually going to go do a couple of demonstrations. But my first experiment is which tool is the most effective for breaking through stone? So I'm going to break this block of stone with my bare hand. I'm going to break this block of stone with a stone pickaxe and I'm going to break this block of stone with an iron shovel because I kind of know that pickaxes are the right tool for the job but I also know that iron is better than stone so if I have the wrong tool but a better material will that change things? So before I start I've decided on what are the different things I'm going to try and then I have to make sure I do the same thing in every other way. I'm going to use the same material, stone and I'm going to do it in the same place one after the other. So the independent variable is which type of tool I'm using. No tool, stone pickaxe, iron shovel. My dependent variable is the thing that I can measure. That's what I'm looking at after. So I'm going to count how many times it takes me hitting it with that no tool, uh, stone pickaxe, or iron shovel and see which one does the best job. So first, oh, that was pretty close. First, let's try no tool at all. And we got to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, I'm not sure I counted very well, but I think I got 16. So let's remember that it was 16 with no tool. Now let's go stone pickaxe. One, two, ooh, two. Now let's go iron shovel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so it looks like it took about eleven, right? Now I'm not sure my counting was great, but you could see that the iron shovel was better than no tool, but even a stone pickaxe was better than the wrong tool of a better material. So to review, what was my independent variable? What was the thing I changed before? I changed which tool I was using. No tool, my bare hand, stone pickaxe, or iron shovel. What was my dependent variable? My dependent variable was how well it did, like how long it took. So 16, 2, or, or 11 is what I counted. And that's something I can measure. So my dependent variable is usually something I can measure. So that's my first experiment to, to demonstrate what these things are. Now I'm going to get rid of this stone because I don't need it right now. And it's getting dark. And I should probably go inside since I'm playing in survival mode. See you later. For my next experiment, I'm going to try planting different kinds of trees to see how well each one grows in this area. Now I can't try growing them in different biomes because that would introduce another variable and I really just want to change one thing. So I have several different types. I've got, uh, let's see, I've got oak saplings, jungle saplings, spruce saplings, and birch saplings. Since I have four different kinds, I think I'll try planting four of each just to see what happens. Maybe I'll just do three of each because I don't have a lot of space. So let me go over here. What I want to do is plant different kinds of trees and then see how well they grow. I want you to think about what would be the independent and dependent variables in my experiment. I'm going to pr plant three in a row with one space between them. Oops, not that one. Oops, not that either. I'm making a mess. I'll plant it over here. Get rid of this guy. Okay. 
So let's see, I got one, two, three. Now I need another kind. Let's go with jungle saplings. One. I gotta move out of the way here. My game's being kind of laggy. Two. Three. I'm gonna plant another kind, which is gonna be spruce. One. Two. What should be thinking about? Why am I planting three and not just one of each? What's a good reason to have several of the same kind? Any ideas? I'm gonna have to pick that one up and get it out of the way. That's a sapling I knocked out of the way. Okay, and then let's see. One. Two, three. Alright, three. Now I don't have time to just sit here and watch these grow. Because, you know, it's going to take several days for anything good to happen. But I've got four rows of three trees each, evenly spaced in a very similar area. They get, you know, about the same amount of light and, and water and things like that. So, what's my independent variable? What's the thing that's different before my experiment begins that I'm trying different types of? Did you guess the trees, the different types of trees? Because that's right, that's the independent variable. What's my dependent variable? What am I going to measure afterwards to see if there's a difference? Well, what can I measure about the trees? I can measure the height of the trees. So let's make the height of the trees my dependent variable. Now there might be other things about trees. Maybe trees don't always grow straight up height. So I guess I could cut down each tree and count how much wood I got from each one, like how many wood blocks each one grew into. That might be helpful because they're so close together they might actually become kind of a tangled mess. Uh, that, that, this may not be planned very well, but we'll see what happens. But in this case, in this experiment, my independent variable would be which one of the four types of trees, right? The types of trees is my independent variable. And the dependent variable is how big they grow, right? However, I want to measure that. So that's my second example. Okay, for the last sort of experiment example, I can't really do the experiment because if you look at my survival stuff at the bottom, my hunger bar, I'm not really hungry. But here's one. I'm going to describe an experiment to you, and you could maybe try this in your own Minecraft game. I want to see which of the four food items that I have is going to do the best job of satisfying my hunger. So first I would have to set up an experiment. I would have to decide what's going to be my independent variable. Can you guess what my independent variable will be in this experiment? Think about it for a sec. What's the thing that I'm choosing different ones at the beginning of my experiment to try to see if they cause a different reaction or cause a different outcome. Okay, do you have your answer? You think the independent variable is what? And it's the type of food. So for this experiment, I'm going to try cake, an apple, bread, or cooked pork chop. Now, I can't really do the experiment, but if I were going to do the experiment, I would have to wait until I was down to the same amount of hunger. So maybe only one of these little symbols at the bottom here. Or maybe only three of these little symbols at the bottom here. Because if I'm only a little hungry, I won't really be able to tell which did, which did the best job. I have to be a lot hungry. So you have to decide what you're going to get your hunger down to before you try one of the food items. That's important. Because otherwise you're introducing other variables to your experiment. And you don't want to do that. So if the different types of food are my independent variable, what would, it, what would be my dependent variable? What's going to be the thing that could be different based on which one of the independent variables I use? Do you have an idea? Hint, it's something that you could measure or count. Your dependent variable usually is going to be something you can measure or count. Something you can quantify. 
Well, I think my dependent variable is going to be how many of the little hunger symbols that were empty get refilled by eating that particular food choice, right? So if my independent variable is which food I chose, my dependent variable would be how much of my hunger it fills up. Now I can't do this one, but I think it would be cool if you did the experiment and then maybe told me about it in the comments. And that's our third example of a Minecraft experiment. You could try each one of these and find out the answers, right? Which one is the best or which one is going to grow the tallest or whatever. We found out the answer to our first one, but you'd have to go and try it and measure them to find out the answers to the others. Now I could probably read on the Minecraft wiki or guess based on how I know certain foods uh, satisfy my hunger in real life, but sometimes the game doesn't behave the way real life behaves. So I think it would be fun to try that. I'd love to hear back from you what your results were. Happy experimenting!